Hey folks, Jay said here. I have something really special to share with you today. I have the results in, fully analyzed from the community survey. Let's dive right in with what the heck it is. What was it? It was a Google Forms survey. Google Forms are anonymous. They're quick, easy to use. We tried to get as many responses as we could from Reddit, the Steam forum, the official forum, and my YouTube. We left it up for one week, 2,700 responses. That's a big result compared to the average concurrence in the game. Okay. Important note before we go any further, a survey is only representative of who was surveyed. So this is not the average player and no one should pretend otherwise. This is people who were on Reddit, on Steam, saw a survey and said, yes, three to five minutes of my time is worth it right now. Those are engaged people. They're connected and they're engaged people. And that's not the average player, most likely. So the guys are going to be represented here are going to be a little different than the guys you'd see in your ordinary quick play. And I think you'll see that as we go on. However, I don't think it's hugely different, one. And two, I think the people represented here are very important people um, for Fat Shark to care about and you, the listener, to care about because these people are you for the most part. What is the purpose? For community leaders, Discord mods, Reddit mods, whatever, it's important to know who can you reach and what do they need? If you're going to help people out, this is what you need to know. Content creators, you need to know kind of the same things. Who can you reach? What do they need? But you also need to know who uses what content, right? And what kind of content they could use. If you want to make things for people, presumably, you need to know what they need, who they are and what they need. Community members, well, let's see. It's important to know when you're talking to other people to have an idea of who you're talking to and what they care about. It'll help you relate. It'll help you with empathy. It'll help you gauge why they're saying the things that they say, and it'll help you decide how you can engage with other people in the community in a productive way. What value can you get out of these engagements? Fat Shark. It's cool to know who's giving you feedback and what their issues and goals are. You can get this is a treasure trove. I've of course already sent the information on to them. So who are we? Top level results, connected. 85% of respondents use Discord and a mic. That number is staggering. Everybody's on Discord. Doesn't mean everybody uses Discord all the time. Only 20% and change use it routinely as their community of choice. But 85% have a Discord and mic. Reddit was the dominant user base. 73% of users said they use Reddit as, a, as their community, whereas only like 30% or so use Steam and 15, 20% use Fat Shark Forum. So Reddit's the dominant. Experienced, this is gonna blow you away. 87% said they were at least comfortable in Legend. At least we are at the skill ceiling. Winds of Magic could not come at a better time. Whereas, even though over 40% are comfortable on Legend Plus. In other words, the hardest difficulty stuff you can do in the base official game, only 8% play on the, the modded difficulty and less than 5% play on it routinely. However, transitioning to mods, 81% of people use mods. 81% of respondents use mod. That number is enormous. Now, of course, significant majority, 80% of the 80%, only use sanctioned mods. So sanctioned mods are runaway success and Fat Shark should just do all the things they can to support them. They're amazing. Engaged. We're a pretty active community. I think we're a pretty tight community. 2,700 respondents over a week. 2,700 people said, yes, I will give time and answer a 20 question survey. Um, also 2,000 plus written responses, 20,000 words plus crazy 70 percent use youtube or twitch and most of that's youtube most of that's youtube to get better the question was do you use youtube to improve do you use twitch to improve whatever about 70 percent said yes i've used youtube to improve not mentioned here but important to note more than 60 percent used forum posts to help them improve at some point so when you make a good post on a forum you're helping people no question and a large portion use steam guides Steam guides, especially newer players. So those of you who are putting those out there or thinking about it, especially targeting newer players, could work. Key takeaways. Just based off of who we are, let's start with leaders. Legend and Legend Plus players, there's a lot of them, and they, especially Legend Plus mod players, have specialized needs, which I'll get to in a moment. So targeting them makes a lot of sense. Reddit is 
dominant. It's got the most people. Do stuff everywhere, but if you want the most bang for your buck, do it on Reddit. And if you want most bang for your buck for Legend Plus and Modded Realm, use Discord. That's where people go when they need to do um, those kinds of difficulties. And that's because there's no pickup, there's no um, quick play for those options. More on that later. Uh, and bring in some new leadership to support these things would probably be a good idea. Content creators. YouTube is universal. It's dominant and everybody uses it. Whereas Twitch skews towards highly experienced players. Highly experienced players. So if you're a new player trying to get content out there and start yourself up, starting on Twitch is going to be a hard sell until you get good. Likewise, there's another issue with making content for Vermintide, and it comes down to Mod Realm failing as endgame. And more on that later. But since Mod Realm, the hardest thing you possibly can do is not something generally interesting to the mass, vast majority of players, mostly because of loot. That kind of content is not very representative of their experiences, and the average player doesn't care all that much. So the hardest stuff you can do that gives you credibility that's cool, people also don't feel as relatable, so they don't watch. Whereas if you just do Legend Plus stuff, everybody and their mother knows how to do Legend Plus stuff. It's not cool. It's not unique. It's not engaging. So you're kind of SOL until Winds of Magic hits. Hopefully something comes. Community members. Uh, phew, there are so many good players. Community, like Mutual respect just makes sense. Crowdsourcing just makes sense. And pugs, pickup groups, make sense. If you want to play with other good players, they're out there. They're out there. And you should respect each other because so many of you are so experienced relative to the difficulty of the game. Fat Shark. So many things to say we could go on and on, but we won't. I just want to mention two very specific things. Sanction mod, easy win. Mods, wild success. Consider taking some of the best mods, bring them to consoles too. They're an easy win. People love them. Or, alternatively, look into what sorts of things are getting traction and say, huh, well, let's bring that in-house because obviously people want it. Either way works. I think the former is cooler. Mod realm fails as endgame. Hold off on that thought, guys. So what do we do? We know a little bit about who we are. What do we do? Plans, goals, and Vermintide. You could check more than one. There are more than these many options. I thought these were the coolest ones. I wanted to point out that, first of all, like 18% play challenge mods. 23% want to find a consistent team. Find a consistent team. Almost 50% say they want to beat official challenges. Over 50% say they want to get full gear. Over 50%, just a little bit, want to beat all maps on highest official difficulty. And 58% say, quote, they want to play a comfortable difficulty and experience new content. Okay, I've also broken this down by experience level. And if you want more details, you need to go to the full report, which I'll post on YouTube and I'll link to below. Let's just go top level stuff. Most people play for fun. And when the write in fun comes up more than any other word, gee, I wonder why. I sure hope people are playing games for fun, right? It's just a question of what is your fun. And your fun is not everyone else's fun. But in general, what is people's fun, you know? Well, for a lot of people, it's play comfortable difficulty plus experience new content, which was kind of the code for more of a casual side. I just come in, I want to log into quick play, do some stuff, make some progress, do for an hour or two, or whatever, and go eat dinner, you know? That's like a really fun, comfortable gameplay loop for most players. It's probably the dominant, in fact it is, and it's almost certainly the dominant gameplay loop for people. And this play comfortable difficulty plus experience new content, even Legend, Legend Plus players, this is pretty well represented. But for the very, very like uh, most urgent to push their difficulty mod realm players, this number drops off a little bit. I think this is really interesting, and you'll see this more in the official report, but, 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 what you see is the first thing people want to do is get full gear for lower level experience. Then you see they, there's a spike and they want to beat all the maps on highest difficulty when they're legend players. And when they're legend plus players, beating official challenges becomes like their dominant interest of these three things. This is a clear progression between gear, then maps, then official challenges. So Fat Shark should probably take word of this. You don't want to make it so that people get stuck on a previous one, right? Getting decent gear is the first thing they want to do, so you better make sure that's easy so that they can move on to do the next natural difficulty, which I think in some ways we're there. Gear doesn't matter that much in Vermintide. However, however, gear remains important long after you think it would. Here's why. 
Uh, I'm going to pop back to that one second. Here's why. Why don't people play Mod Realm? Let's completely transition. But the tether here, the tie-in, is very clear. Why don't people play Mod Realm? Even Legend Plus players, who are very experienced players, who are really good at the game, who know the game. Legend Blue is Legend Plus player respondents who don't use Mod Realm a lot. Over 60% of them don't play Mod Realm because they can't get loot. So even though that was the first goal that they've accomplished, and they accomplished it long before they got Legend Plus comfortable and stuff, it remains an important goal to them. And I think it's partially because it just takes forever to get all your loot, one. And two, people don't want to give up on loot just to play challenge. Loot and challenge is what people want, not loot or challenge. Um, what else can I take away from this? Why don't people play Mod Realm? What are the other important reasons? Let's take a look. Well, I want to say that we are at the skill ceiling. I don't, we are at the skill ceiling because of Legend Plus respondents who don't play Mod Realm already, only 13% cited the difficulty of officials already hard enough. You always hear people don't want to play Mod at all this crazy stuff because it's hard enough as it is. Nope. Turns out there is a big chunk of the audience that doesn't feel that way, that's ready for more challenge. So, Winds of Magic, let's go. Gameplay without progression is a hard sell. Yup. People still want to beat official challenges, 44%, 45%, and 60 plus percent, even though they're ready, they're Legend Plus players, don't want to move on because they still want to get their loot. That's why Mod Realm fails. That's it, right there. They don't want one or the other, they want both. Mod Realm needs to be fixed. Lastly, lastly, Finding players without quick play is tough. For those who don't know, there's no quick play for Legend Plus, and there's certainly no quick play, not even close to it, for Mod Realm. Getting groups outside of that is not that hard, guys, and I'll tell you what to do about that in a moment. But people find it challenging, and a subset of people, even though they're skill-wise ready to go for those things, just won't do the things that they need to do in order to get games outside of quick play. So Fat Shark should bear that in mind. Lastly, officialness of and challenge is important to many. What I'm saying here is what I think what I think I'm seeing here is that even though this this the official challenges for the most part are not that hard compared to people who are competent with Legend Plus, a lot of them still prioritize it rather than let's go beat some official maps. And I think it really comes down to if something is an official challenge, people are more likely to have a sense of pride and accomplishment, um, well, if they do it. So that's yet another thing that's holding Mod Realm back. Going back to how people play, how people play. I really want you to take two things from this slide. This is just a question, how do you play? You could pick more than one. A quarter said they play alone without other people. 67% say they play quick play alone. 58% say they play quick play with friends. And if you ask the question instead by taking, do how many people play one form of quick play or the other? Just play quick play in general. Over 85% of people play, play, play quick play and even people who play modded difficulty where there is no quick play, over 75% of them still play quick play. Quick play is king. Lastly, all right, pickup groups, very small. Pickup groups are where you go to find little groups to play with, random people to play with. It's like a quick play-esque experience outside of quick play. And that's what you do for mod and uh, Legend Plus. Few people do that. I think community leaders can do things to help there. A third. A third of players play with the same group of people. And what was so fascinating to me is even if you ask the question, who plays with the same group of people by experience level, that one third number doesn't change very much. It doesn't change a huge amount. Like, how do I say this? If you play modded difficulty, you're very much more likely to play with a team because you need one, right? But be below that, a good chunk of players, even on veteran and champions, say they played with the same group of people. So Vermintide's a social game. Over 60% report playing with people they know right? That's either this number or this number. Um, and pre-made teams are therefore a big part of Vermintide. So what does the data tell us? For community leaders, community pug events, better clear links to finding people to play with, and Squirrel Squad is the first stop, Squirrel Squad Discord, link below, so that when people get to Legend Plus, people are ready to try mods, and people are ready to play Weaves when Winds of Magic hits, which are not very easily accessible by, by quick play. We, as, as a community, have places to send those people so they can find teams and experience and enjoy this content as easily as possible. 
we need to step up as community leaders to help enable that. Likewise, content creators can step up to help be a part of that. Squirrel Squad, let's partner with community members. Let's partner with content creators so to enable those kinds of things. If Crack wants to do a play with him night, maybe we can get other people to do a play with him night, play with people night at the same night. So like Thursday night is pug night and some streamers are out there, but other people are out there too, just getting together, playing Legend Plus, trying mods, whatever, together at the same time so it's easy to find games. That's an easy win. We should do that. Likewise, content creators should look to this data, look to the full report, to find what people are trying to do and make content that supports the goals that matter to them. People like content that is aspirational. Oh, that's a cool thing I want to do someday. Let me check out that awesome thing. And they like content that supports what they're trying to do. So if you're trying to do informative content, target where the people are, especially if Winds of Magic hits, there's going to be such a niche there. Community members, are you looking for teams? Many other people are too. Try Squirrel Squad. There are many other people looking for teams. You should be able to find them. Just get a little proactive. If it's playing high-level content with other people as a goal to you, it is achievable. Get out there. One more thing on this. Many people share your goals, but many also don't share your goals. Other people share those goals, right? You don't, but other people do. Respect that, right? And I wanted to say something about people playing like mod stuff or like Legend Plus stuff like deeds and speedrunning deeds or whatever have you. For those who are not doing that yet, there's a good chance that is you someday. That is future you. So just because they're not playing for loot right now or maybe they scoff at it or something, that's probably because they have hundreds of hours and they've maybe somewhat progressed past that, right? Like loot's not as interesting to them anymore. They're not looking down on you or they shouldn't damn well be because they were you one day. You're the past them, right? So there's no reason for them to be looking down on you. That's pointless. And there's no reason for you to be like, these people are weird and elitist because if you really love Vermintide and keep playing, that will be you one day. And for them, they should look at you and be like, that was me one day. Like, we're the same people. There are only a couple thousand, maybe tens of thousands of people in the world that have this bizarrely fixated love for Vermintide that keeps them playing for hundreds of hours, right? Appreciate each other. Appreciate the journey. Appreciate each other. Anyways, I appreciate you. This went longer than I meant for it to anyways. The full report, which is over an hour, with full data will be available and I will post the data. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this. If you have questions, ask me in Discord, ask me in chat below, or probably most accessibly, ask me in the Reddit link below so other people have a chance to exchange ideas on it. Have a great day.